I'm on to number seven, so you know what that means. There's only seven days to go until Fire Emblem Fates. Yeah! Well, it's European release at least. But yeah, only a week to go until I can play the greatest game that was ever made, ever. And I know it's gonna be, even though I haven't played it yet. I just know it's gonna be the greatest game ever because it's Fire Emblem Fates. I am not getting overhyped at all. <laughs> all right, for number seven, I need Dragon Girl power. Right, number seven is probably going to get me into a lot of trouble, but I assure you, I like this character for the right reasons. For number seven, I say while looking off to the side in embarrassment, it's Noe. Let's just get this out of the way right now. I do like Noe, I think she's a great character, and I'll get into why I like her in just a second. But that outfit is awful! Oh my gosh, that is so wrong! That is wrong on so... That is wrong on so many levels. Oh. I, I mean, I don't care if she's like, I don't know, 200 or whatever they said her actual age was. She looks like a little girl and that outfit is disgusting. I just... I... Oh! Oh! Oh, it's so bad! Actually, it's kind of appropriate that I pick Noe as my number seven, you know, with a week to go till Fire Emblem Fates, because isn't the main character in that, isn't Corrin, like, also one of these dragon people? But yeah, getting past that genuinely disgusting outfit, I do really like Noe. I think she's a great character. I think she's a real breath, uh, breath of fresh air, like, like Cynthia was, like a breath of fresh air in what is a, you know, quite a dark situation the characters are in. But what I particularly like about her is that while she gives off this childish and upbeat and Oh, tra la 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 everything will be alright, everything will be as fun, you merrick! Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that was I just did! <laughs> oh, what you while she does put forward that happy and carefree attitude, it is just all a front to hide actually what is a very deep and mature character. She explains in various support conversations that the reason she acts this way is to keep people's morale up and try and, you know, keep people motivated. And I think that's really important because, you know, obviously the psychological aspect of a war is, you know, also very important. And, you know, the characters, like I said, are in quite a difficult situation and she's just trying to keep everybody positive. And while she does play childish games, you know, she likes to play hide and seek, she likes to play tag and whatever, the reason she does that is to train herself, you know, to keep herself physically fit or like in the case of hide and seek, practice her stealth and whatnot, while at the same time, you know, playing a childish game with people to, you know, again, get the morale up, get people in a better mood and stuff. Again, it just shows how deep the character actually is. You could take her at surface value and just think, oh gosh, this is the Lolita character who's, you know, pandering to the creepy, 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 disgusting fans. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, if you, te if you look deeper, she, there is actually a lot more to Noe than meets the eye. And I'm not, and obviously not just talking about the fact that she turns into a dragon. And the fact that she does turn into a dragon as well just makes her all the more awesome. It's like, yeah, I'm not some regular helpless little girl and uh, you're about to find that out the hard way. No, he wasn't exactly on the top tier list of characters I use most frequently in my army, but I did use her quite a bit if I had, you know, a couple of extra spaces. She, she was on the top of the reserved list, I would say. Come on, it's a freaking killer dragon girl. Why would you not want that in your army? Oh, and I do just want to get something off my chest right here and now. Okay, here goes. Um... I hate long Q. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of you love him, I know, yes, I know I suck. There's no principle language like that. I know, alright, I, I get it, okay, he's a really popular character. But I can't stand him. I think he's a brooding jerk. I really couldn't stand him. I don't care if he's had a traumatic past or has genophobia or whatever. You don't talk to women in the way that he does. I don't care if he's afraid of them. You don't talk to women like that. Anyway, the reason I bring up Long Q and the fact that he'll get no sympathy from me, kind of had to say it, sorry. The reason I bring him up is because while I don't like him, I do have to admit his support builds with Noe are actually some of my favourite support builds in the entire game and I think them as a couple is one of the most underrated pairings in the game. I just thought it was really cute how this guy, you know, he's kind of a tough guy who's kind of like the brooding emo, leave me alone, 
kind of guy is is engaging in these childish games with Noe, is playing house with her and stuff, which, by the way, she's probably doing to help him improve his social skills and overcome his xenophobia, again, showing how deep and intelligent she is. Yeah, I just thought it was really cute that he, like to see him engaging in that, and, like, from some things he says, it seems like he's genuinely enjoying it, and, like, their S, their rank S, like, support bill where he proposes to her, where he says he wants to have this family life for real with her, I thought, it's actually really touching, and I'm just like, alright, alright, I don't like you, I'm never gonna like you, but, alright, you, you won some points with that with me, so, you're alright, I, I, I can trust, trust you with Noe. Put my hand on his invisible shoulder. <laughs> but yeah, getting back to Noe herself, yeah, she is just a great character. I, I really like her. I think she is a very good, well-written and deep character. But please, Noe, change your outfit! Let me know in the comment section what you think of Noe, and do be sure to let me know who some of your favourite Fire Emblem Awakening characters are. As always, if you like this video and aren't too mad about the fact that I hate long queue, please thumbs up it and share it with your friends. And if you're new here and you want to see more of me talking about Fire Emblem characters, and how much I hate your long queue. <laughs> no, not really, but if you do want to hear me talking more about Fire Emblem and stuff, please do hit that subscribe button. Make sure to also follow me on Twitter as well and tell me how much of an idiot I am for hating Long Q. There will be a link to it in the description and I frequently talk about Fire Emblem and other game franchises that I enjoy there. I shall see everybody tomorrow for the next one. Okay, for number seven, I need Dragon Girl power! Alright, for number seven, I need dragon girl power!